Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Now, a story has broken right on the eve of the Pacquiao-Bradley rematch. Apparently, Pacquiao's former consultant, uh, nutritionist, Alex Ariza, has sued Freddie Roach for slander, right? Slander is a form of defamation. Ariza contends that Freddie Roach has implied that Ariza cut corners and gay fighters performance enhancing drugs. Right now, let me just say, I've looked at the statement Freddie Roach made. It's in an excellent interview taken by SecondsOut.com. The interviewer does a great job. I'm going to read the quote to you uh, as reported on an excellent site, FightHype.com. And then I'm just going to tell you, and I'm a member of the California State Bar. I've actually done some, not a lot, but some defamation work. I'm just going to tell you that, in my opinion, this lawsuit will be dismissed. I'm expecting Freddie Roach to prevail on the lawsuit. Right? Understand, before I read this statement, that truth is an absolute defense to a defamation claim. Right? Also, the statement in itself would have to be a statement of fact alleging things with specificity. Now I would argue that here Freddie Roach is just expressing his opinion and the statements he's making portions of them are clearly true. I don't believe Freddie Roach definitively says in this statement that Alex Ariza gave fighters performance enhancing drugs. Right? Let me also point out in the background of all of this is the fact that Brandon Rios failed a drug test apparently in connection with his fight against Manny Pacquiao and his nutritionist was Alex Sabrisa. Right? And so, you know, there's a question exactly of how Brandon Rios ended up failing a drug test. Here's a statement from Freddie Roach, and it's an important one. It reads, I know he has a new strength coach, and I don't get along with the guy. And one of the reasons why he doesn't work for me anymore is because I think he's a little shady, you know. He used to give Manny a drink every day before we worked out. And I asked him, what's in that drink? And he would never tell me. And I said, I need to know what's in that drink because you know, you're giving it to my fighter. And if something goes wrong, I'm going to get the blame. In my opinion, he's a little shady. So he's with that camp now. And it doesn't surprise me that happened. Right now, that's the statement. Let's go through it. Right? We'll even go through it sentence by sentence. Right? The first sentence is, I know he has a new strength coach. I would say that's true. Right? And I don't get along with the guy. Well, isn't that a true statement? Roach doesn't get along with the reason. Then he says, and one of the reasons why he doesn't work for me anymore is because I think he's a little shady. Well, let me point out, that's a statement of opinion. Roach might well think Ariza is a little shady. Whether Ariza is or not, Roach is entitled to his opinion. Right? I don't believe that statement is what we call in the legal community actionable. Let me continue with the rest of the statement. He used to give Manny a drink every day before we worked out. And I asked him, what's in that drink? 
and he would never tell me. Well, let me just say, that might be true. Right? If, in fact, Ariza gave Manny a drink. You know, the drink could have been water. Right? If, in fact, Roach asked him what's in the drink and Ariza wouldn't tell Roach, then here again, that statement is not actionable. Right? Roach isn't definitively saying PEDs were in the drink. All he's saying is that he was never told what was in the drink. Right? So then Roach continues. And I said, I need to know what's in that drink because you know you're giving it to my fighter and if something goes wrong, I'm going to get the blame. Right? I don't believe he makes any factual assert assertion in that statement. Right? All he's saying is, look, when my fighters are given things, I need to know about that. Right? So here is probably the most explosive sentence of what Roach said. In my opinion, he's a little shady. So he's with that camp now, and it doesn't surprise me that happened. Right? Now let me just say, Roach gives his opinion. Right? That's just an opinion sentence. He doesn't say he has any knowledge whatsoever as to exactly what happened with Brandon Rios. He doesn't say definitively that he has any inside information on what happened with Brandon Rios. All he says is, it doesn't surprise me that that happened. Right? I believe this statement summed up is simply a statement that Roach doesn't have any hard evidence. But there was a lot of non-disclosure in his relationship with Alex Ariza and that nothing that happens with regard to Ariza's work with other fighters surprises him. I don't believe that's actionable. I know some lawyers follow me here on YouTube. I encourage those lawyers to leave comments in the comment section to this video about their take on this statement. I don't believe Roach in this statement definitively says that he has knowledge that Alex Ariza gives fighters PEDs. Right? I believe all he's saying here is he gave my fighter a drink, right? Understand, if Ariza concedes in a deposition that yes, he gave Pacquiao drinks in furtherance of his role as a nutritionist, right? The drinks could be milkshakes, could be protein shakes, right? I'm positive that nutritionists, of course, would give their fighters nutritional fluids. If Ariza concedes that he did give Pacquiao a drink, then that statement's a true statement. Right? If Ariza also concedes that there were times when he gave Pacquiao a drink and didn't report what was in the drink to Freddie Roach, that's a true statement as well. If Freddie Roach held the opinion that there was something, in Roach's words, shady with Ariza, you know what, Freddie Roach's opinion isn't actionable. Right, so here what we have is a lawsuit that unfortunately has come to the public's attention on the eve of a big fight. Right, that involves Freddie Roach. It's unfortunate, I believe ultimately what you're going to hear is that Freddie Roach will have at least succeeded in forcing the court to issue an order that this complaint be supplemented, right? In legal parlance, amended. The problem is, I don't believe the complaint can be amended since, of course, it's based on statements Freddie Roach made that are recorded. In other words, even a clever lawyer can't somehow make the statement actionable 
when the statement is what it is. So I believe that really the story here is much ado about nothing. I'm expecting Freddie Roach to prevail in getting this lawsuit knocked out early. Let me also point out too the culture that is boxing. It's don't ask, don't tell. Right here you have a superstar athlete, Manny Pacquiao, and his trainer doesn't know exactly what he's taking. Manny Pacquiao might not know what he's taking. He might trust the people around him. Right? Alex Ariza might be giving Manny Pacquiao protein shakes. You know, just standard legal drinks. But right now, no one is sure. Right? The point is, the big players involved. The fighter, Manny Pacquiao. And his trainer of the year, certain Hall of Famer, Freddie Roach. Right? Sounds like they're unclear on what Manny Pacquiao was taking. Right? Could have been innocent. Alex Ariza might well be an excellent nutritionist who is legally giving fighters, you know, nutritional supplements. Let me also point out that with regard to Brandon Rios, you know, the sad truth is that when a fighter fails a drug test, we really don't know who gave the fighter the substance that caused him to fail the drug test. Right? We have a different case involving Andre Berto, where the nutritionist, and I'll save the nutritionist from uh, public disclosure here, the nutritionist claims that he warned Berto to stick to their nutritional program. Right? If a fighter, and we've seen this in baseball, we've seen this in football, if a fighter goes to a nutritional supplement store and buy something over the counter sometimes these over the counter supplements have items in them that cause you to fail drug tests so here unfortunately I understand that Alex Ariza feels that he's in a tough position right he had a fighter fail a drug test the fighter may have failed the test for things he took outside of his relationship with Alex Ariza. And I understand Ariza feels a bit jilted that his number one client, Manny Pacquiao, his most high profile client, Manny Pacquiao, perhaps boxing's most high profile fighter, ended the relationship with him. But as frustrated as Alex Ariza is, understand statements by Freddie Roach that you know he asked what was in Manny's drink and he wasn't told definitively aren't enough in my opinion to sue him for slander I'm expecting this to get dropped let me also make another point and it's really much more important Floyd Mayweather years ago asked for drug testing before his fight with Manny Pacquiao. He was met with resistance. The negotiations fell apart. Right? That's all factual. Right? The negotiations fell apart in part over this issue. At the time, Mayweather got ridiculed and criticized by the media, right? Many accused him of making up excuses as to not as to why he would not fight Manny Pacquiao, right? Well, now we're finding out that at least there's some portion of time where Manny Pacquiao's own trainer didn't know what was in the drinks Manny Pacquiao was taking, right? Think about that. In other words, people talk about drug testing. Everyone says it's ridiculous. How dare you 
even infer. But of course, boxing is a don't ask, don't tell culture. While people are denying ever taking drugs, the truth is often the fighter, the trainer, the honorage, they don't know. Food for thought. That's the sport. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here in the comment section, and I hope we all get a chance to enjoy today's fight. Thanks for stopping by.